disaster struck my account on Friday afternoon. Okay, maybe disaster is a little bit extreme, but there was a couple of really, really no fun trades I took the last hour of Friday afternoon, and luckily for you all, I live recorded them, so you all get to watch the live trades and laugh at my misery. Hopefully you do enjoy the transparency though, and hopefully you enjoy the continued updates on this account, on this strategy. Make sure you stick around to the end, as we will show you how these trades impacted the real money p l since we started trading the strategy hit like to help make me feel better hit the red subscribe button if you enjoy the transparency and let's get into the action we are short 381.90 we are short 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 100 shares of spy once again breaking up above the high of three bars ago i believe one two three yes the high of three bars ago is what this yellow line represents it's got to break the low of four bars ago. One, two, three, four. Yep. Low of four bars ago is what the blue line represents. I still think they're going to shove this. I still think eventually I'm going to get screwed in one of these shorts. Maybe this is the time. But I also will take the trades according to the strategy. Wow, we're immediately down 50 bucks. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ah. <sighs> Little Friday power hour spike. Good call, streamer. I just, in the back of my head, I still think they're going to push this. I really do. I think it's too easy. The puts the puts are too easy. The puts are free money. To be fair, puts have been free money. But the ones that are going to try to hold it all the way into close that think they have free money, uh, I think the market makers are going to do the best they can to fuck them. <laughs> Not, I mean, they're not doing it to necessarily fuck people, but they're doing it to make money because, once again, market makers write options and then they make money based off of that. They try to make money based off of that. <laughs> stock jock went live again. Should we try to get him to raid you? I mean, of course, I would love a stock jock raid. You don't have to, like, beg for it, though. <laughs> if he wants to raid me, he will. I would not complain about a stock jock raid, but I'm not going to go in his chat or ask you guys to go in his chat either and start begging for raids. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> he rage quit, then went live again after the market dumped, and now he's up 23k. I know, I saw, I saw his title. He rage quit, and then magically came back alive when he was up 23k. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. We're down 50 bucks in our trade. Uh, Spies been a big move up, decent move down. Chop, 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 chop. Can't really pick a direction out of this chop yet. <gasps> My wife is calling me. Hello. Sorry, hello. We're getting squeezed. We're getting... <laughs> I mean, I did call it. <laughs> I'm either going to be right or I'm going to make money. That's a fun situation to be in. Say, say, say you think the stock is going to go up, but short it. You're, you're either right or you make money. It's a win-win. It's a win-win situation, realistically. I mean, not really much can go wrong for me here. <laughs> Woo, we're now 130. Here we go. This might squeeze. The, what I'm scared of is this is this squeezing the rest of the day. What I'm scared of is like covering at 387 at market close. That's what I'm scared of here. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I have, I've had that happen to me before on stream. On stream, I've gotten short and then just had it squeeze all power hour and then lost. I think I lost like, I was trading smaller size then. So I think I lost like 150 bucks, but. It could happen. This could squeeze all power hour and just fuck me over and over again. <clears throat> we are opposite sides of the trade. Nice. Congrats for now. <laughs> Congrats. Just remember that one trade means nothing. <laughs> one trade means nothing. Ugh. We don't we don't panic or brag about one trade, right? <laughs> we 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 panic we panic and or brag about this, right? This is what we panic slash brag about. No one, no one, no one cares about one trade. Well, you should. Okay, 
You shouldn't care about one trade. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, legs. Oh, legs. Oh, God, I'm falling. I'm falling. Oh, tricep. Oh, my God. He's fucking huge, chat. Oh, ow. Baby, baby. La, 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 la. Nick Merck's Rage Trey. Dude, if someone with, like, 20,000 viewers rated me, I wouldn't fucking know what to do with myself. I don't know. You're right. I think I would just start drinking. Fucking let's party! <laughs> Fucking yeah, baby! We're losing money, we're drinking beer in here, baby! <laughs> Could you imagine my dumbass getting like a 20,000 person read? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it'll never happen, but. <laughs> Pasty and huge? Right, I'll take one out of two. If I can't be tan, I'll be huge. I gotta pick one. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. We got we got a nice big topping candle. Looks like it was gonna reverse. This is this is a sign that Spy wants to be bullish. This is obviously a sign that Spy wants to be bullish. Look, huge, ugly, gross topping candle. This is a reversal. This is if if normal price action, this is reversal. But nope, immediately bullish engulfing candle. Spy wants to shove. We we want to be we want to be closing three eighty fives, three eighty sixes. That's what the market makers want here. Can, can the natural volume take over and crush the market makers? Let's see. This feels like market makers want this up here, though. <laughs> this is what it feels like. <laughs> Power hour and 10. Spy catch all the stop losses from longs here. Wait, you think they just, you think they just dumped this? You think they did this, got all the long stop losses, and now we're gonna shove it again? They might have. This is a this this could be a classic uh, market maker move too. The classic uh, okay, rip it down, get all the longs. Okay, now they have enough shares to pump it again. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna lose. We're gonna be red on the day. I can almost guarantee you we're gonna be red today. Now, <laughs> just just the way this is trading, I can almost guarantee you. Well, we're only green thirty bucks now. We're almost red on the day already. But I will still get out where I'm supposed to get out, right? I'll get out where I'm supposed to get out according to my strategy that I know makes money over time, right? Because that's all that matters. I guess I could have avoided the trade. I could have gone like, oh, since I, since I, my thesis is they're going to shove this, maybe I won't take this short. But, uh, nah, that's, that's just incorrect. It's just an incorrect way to think about it. You've got to trade the statistics. And fuck, with all this bitching and moaning I'm doing, we could... It's possible we still make money in this trade. It's possible. <laughs> tough to fully agree, but I get it. Um, it's only tough to fully agree because I'm red. Right? If I took this trade and it would have gone this way and I'd be up 100 bucks, uh, you would agree with me, right? <laughs> you would agree with me, right? <laughs> Timber. Who the fuck is calling me now? Is this spam? Hold on, you guys want to talk to a spam? Hello? All my money is gone. My account is going to explode. What, are, what have I been saying? I literally drew this line saying this is where they want it. This move is absurd. Why so hard? Because the market makers are shoving it. They're crushing these puts. We talked about this. The puts have three X. Today is monthly expiration. And the puts have three X the volume that the calls have. They're crushing it. Who do you think wrote those puts? The market makers did. <laughs> the market makers wrote those puts. They're crushing them. The market makers are making fucking bank right now, bro. Market makers wrote a shitload of puts. What? What's the extremely obvious move here? What is the extremely obvious move on SPY? Oh my god. Okay, go away. Daily trades. The extremely obvious move is down. What do they do? They write a fuckload of puts because everybody and their mother buys puts because the extremely obvious move is down. And then they crush you. I mean, I called it. 
This is this is this is welcome to welcome to the markets, man. <laughs> That's what market makers do. That's why you're bullish at lows. That's why you're bullish at lows and bearish at highs, baby. Oh my god, how much money are we gonna lose? This is bullshit. I'm pissed. No, I'm pissed. It just hit my target, by the way. I erased the line. I don't know why I did that. Just hit my target. Just hit my target. <sighs> Minus 100 stop out. Nope. Nope. I coded that actually. I did I did try that last night. I added to the code uh, to stop out if we're down 100 or stop out if you're down 75. I tried a couple of different levels. None of them added profit over time. You did call it and allowed your algo to take it. Yeah, but how many times have I said stuff and then the algo was ended up being extremely correct against me? <laughs> that happens a lot too, man. <laughs> this is one of those cases where I called it and I, I happen to be right more than the algo, but there's been a lot of times too where I've said, oh, oh, I'm scared of shorting this. And then the algo takes like a fucking $300 winner. <laughs> oh! Why? I'm already losing money, God. Why it make me hit my knee on the desk too? <laughs> Ow. That fucking hurt. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, that like hurt hurt. Ow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I can't help it in this particular instance to play the strat and be disciplined. Yeah. That's emotional control though, right? Let's get weird. You've got to, I'm, I'm not trying to be an asshole and neither are you. And I understand that, but that's something you got to understand, right? Is it's, it's, you can't worry about one instance. Oh my God, this time I was right. And I shouldn't have taken this trade, but yeah, this is not how it works, right? That's not how trading works over time, right? <laughs> Do you have a stop loss in two minutes? Not for shorts. For longs, I do. For shorts, there's no stop loss. Nope. I've not been able to find one that adds profit. So when we get squeezed and we lose $500 in this trade, it's going to suck. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think SPY is due a calm down now. I think this is a big push. Well, it's already calming down. Can it calm down enough to get below my sell condition or my cover condition? Sorry. That's the question. Can it calm down enough to get below my cover condition? Crash the market. All right. Hold on. Changing my title. Look, I literally went live with the title, I'm here to save the markets, because I, I thought this would happen. And then I shorted. <laughs> and then I shorted. <laughs> oh, man. Come on down, Spine. There's a sick, cruel world in which we still make money in this trade. That's a really cruel, sick world, though. There's, there's a, there's a metaverse or, or not a, <laughs> not a metaverse. There's a, there's a, there's one universe in the multiverse in which we make money in this trade. Are we living in that current timeline? Dr. Strange. Are we living in that timeline in which I make money in this trade? Probably not. <laughs> Do you guys believe in multiverses? Cause that's the craziest fucking like. It's like the craziest like thought ever. The, the thought of multiverses existing is like the craziest thing ever. How'd you get your yellow, red, cyan, green lines forward looking? Uh, extend your chart. Go to price axis, time axis. Yeah, expand, expand your price action or expand your time axis uh, X bars to the right. I would recommend everybody do this. I, I I hate I hate when my when your chart is like running right into the edge of the chart. I I, I hate the way that looks. <laughs> I hate the way that looks. If it's like when it's here like this, hold on, I'll just do it real quick. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I'm so used to going to my strategy. Like I hate how this looks. This is the default. But ugh, I hate this. I wanna I wanna have some room. I wanna have some some room on the right. <laughs> I make mine five bars, obviously. Make it whatever you want. but It's all personal preference, of course. Although, with your with your indicators like this, it actually, 
it might be a little bit more than personal preference. It actually is good to know, you know, what what's coming up in the future. What where your algorithm is looking to get out in the future, at least I should say. Only, <laughs> only serial killers don't make a room for the rain. <laughs> Thanks, I never knew about that. No problem, my friends. I'm here to help. You can watch me lose money and get advice at the same time and watch me drink beer at the same time. What else do you want from a stream, chat? What more could you want? And you get to listen to this song? Why am I still having such a good time? I'm down $200. Well, I was down. I'm actually only down 160 now, but... You caught me. <laughs> Is it you don't leave room to the right of your to the right of your charts? Uh, we got him. This one. This guy. FBI. This guy right here. We found him. <laughs> Good job. You're green. Oh, on the day I'm back to green. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> We're at four bucks today. Oh. Okay. So wow. Actually, I feel I feel pretty lucky here. <laughs> I feel pretty lucky that this got below the blue. So now we do get to get out. If Spy continues to squeeze, we do get to get out this bar. So we're not going to get super fucked in this trade. That's nice, actually. We did get enough of a reprieve pullback to get us back below the blue line. Put the song sound down. Oh, sorry. I turned it up for that part. I forgot to turn it down. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh! At the end of the day, at least I'm still fucking huge, chat. <laughs> I might have lost money today, but I mean, ah, oh. <laughs> woo! Squeeze me! Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you might as well squeeze me and squeeze into this and squeeze into the cover bar. You might as well. You might as well spy. Let's go high a day. Let's go high a day. Make it an exciting amount of loss at least. Two hundred bucks. That's nothing, spy. I'm yawning, literally yawning. At least make it a fun amount to lose. Come on. It's the power hour squeeze. It's the destruction of put squeeze. We've been talking about it all afternoon. <laughs> We've been talking about this move all afternoon. Yet we still shorted. Once again, the system shorted. I, I'm not I'm not mad about this trade. Like if the system takes it, I'm supposed to take it. Obviously, sometimes the system loses a bunch of money. I mean, sometimes this happens, right? It's just, it's just part of it. That's all it is. It's just part of it. Uh, 10 seconds left. Unless we get a miracle, we will be covering the close of this candle in 10 seconds. Or 5 seconds now. Miracle breakdown? No. Nope. Okay, we lost 200 bucks in that trade. About 198, I think we closed out at. The markets want to squeeze. So casino trade, too scary to take a position here. Uh, not for me. Will take statistically proven advantage trades always. Doesn't mean I'm going to make money. I mean, the markets might squeeze me again here, but statistical advantage to all of my trades. So I will take them. Short 383.08. We are short 100 shares of the market. Obviously, SPY is still weak and still breaking up above levels. We're going to try it again. Sure, we're going to try it again. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get skamazed into again, but we could, we could. Just gotta keep taking the statistical advantage trades, right? Don't really care if it squeezes me. I mean, I would rather, I guess I do care. I shouldn't say I don't care. I do care, I guess, but like, I also don't. It's one trade, right? Who cares about one trade? It's what I try to preach all the time. <laughs> We're going to bounce back and forth. 3825 to 3850 seems like that's the expiration pin. We'll see. Just take my trades according to my back test. It is trying to squeeze me a little bit already. Nice. Immediately down 45 bucks. Good. Good. Crushing the puts. Crushing me too. Market makers doing very very good monthly monthly expiration Friday. There's, there's an argument for, uh, hey, maybe just don't trade monthly option expiration power hour because the moves are, uh, well, I was going to say the moves are, are, are not natural, 
But to be fair, I have called, I mean, I called this move, right? <laughs> I just also took the trade. <laughs> Ooh, ugh. This big topping tail, it's gross. I mean, it's good for my trade, but it's gross in general. <laughs> it's gross. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope, doesn't want to break down. Here we go. We're going to get squeezed again. Probably going to lose a couple hundred bucks in this trade. You can tell. You can tell. You can almost tell, like from a human perspective, how SPY starts trading. But to be fair, once again, I mean, we're getting some weird movement. It could do some crazy breakdown shit. But just from the way it's currently trading, it looks like it wants to do this again. This is trading like this again right now, right? <laughs> You can tell from like the ticks of spy what it wants to do sometimes. <laughs> this is about to get bought. This is a good dip buy right here. Human me would, would buy this dip at 383.4. Statistical statistical me is in a short, but if I could put a human decision in, I would be longing this at 383.4. I think it looks good. This looks like it wants to go to me. Once again, I would love to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> Because I am in a short, but this just feels like it wants to go. You can just tell. You can just tell from the ticks. There you go. Nice long. Really nice long. You're already up 40 bucks if you longed there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Everybody's everybody's gonna say like, well, Trey, you should have not taken the trade then if you thought that. But yeah, I don't I don't agree. You've got to remember all the times that I have also said that I thought Spy was gonna do something and then still made a bunch of money taking the opposite trade because the algo told me to. Right? <laughs> still taking positive expected value trades. It does not mean every trade wins though. Very, very, very nice long at 383.4. Congratulations if you took that. Nobody should have taken that because I said so, but if you liked it yourself. Good call, Trey. Trey, you should stop using an algorithm and just listen to yourself. Oh, not really. Not really. It would have worked really well today. God, I would have made so much money today if I wasn't algo trading and I was just listening to myself. But, but, <laughs> We saw, we saw that bef bef from my P&L charts before I started using an algorithm that did not work as well over time. Which, once again, is what matters. <sighs> Maybe the one-minute strategy told long? I don't know. I don't care. Other strategies? You did the right thing. Quick hit now. Huh? What? Have you taken every trade today? No. No. I actually missed... I mean, I had to step out, so I missed... Like, the strategy took a lot of these trades. But funnily enough, I'm still pretty much right in line. The algo's down 78. I'm down 88. I'm about, I'm about $10 worse than the algo, even though I missed a lot of the trades today. It's pretty funny. With my system, I never feel comfortable taking longs. The price actions below 200 EMA. Did you test not taking longs if it's below 200 EMA? Because there are, I mean, once again, there are plenty of times where I don't feel comfortable taking trades and then I still end up making a bunch of money in them. <laughs> because this system, I mean, that's the point, that's the point of proving a mechanical edge, right? <laughs> today, today I've been right. Today, both of these trades... So far, I mean, shit, this is actually starting to break down. But so far, both of these trades, I have been right in my feeling. But it's not its not about one or two trades, right? It's not about one or two trades. <laughs> that's, my, uh, that's my new mission, is to try to convince beginner traders that one trade doesn't fucking mean anything. It's, the, it's very hard to convince people, though. It's like every time I take a, a decent losing trade, someone's got something to say about it. 
And I and I do get it, but like that's why I always show my chart. It's like this care about this, guys. Care about this. <laughs> you do not get this unless you take these trades, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, no follow through on this pullback. Spy, this is ridiculous. It's very, very obvious that they're trying to crush puts. Just like uh, this, can remember when I said it here too? I said after this crazy bearish candle that is still shoved, it's very obvious they're crushing puts. They're doing it again. This is a very, this is a very bearish candle and they're trying to shove it. Look, they're trying, they're trying their damnedest, man. They're crushing those puts they wrote. I called it. I called it from the very beginning of stream. I called it in my title of the stream. I knew Spy was going up. Well, okay. Let me let me exnay the word new. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> my opinion was that Spy was going up. <laughs> They're trying. They're trying their damnedest. They really are. They want to they wanna crush. They want to crush those puts they wrote this month, this week. They're doing a pretty damn good job of it right now. Ooh. What? <laughs> the boomers won out. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? The boomers won out. Thank you for the five hundred dollar donation. Not really. Five dollar donation. Thank you. Hey, what's the word? What's the catch? Imagine that. Push, 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 baby! Push me, squeeze me. Come on, Spy. If you're gonna squeeze, at least make it fun. At least make it content. Let's fucking squeeze, squeeze. I don't wanna like lose 20 bucks in this trade. If I'm gonna lose money, let's lose a couple hundred. Fuck it. Fuck it! <laughs> Making money or just algo? What? I don't even know what that question means. What's up, Disputed? We were up 150 before we went live. Now we're down 120. I could have just not gone live today. I could have just in, went. I could have just got off, enjoyed my weekends, but I went live, and now I'm down 270 dollars. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> the things I do for content, chat. The things I do for con. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should be taking these, once again, I should be taking these trades anyway. Because I know they're profitable over time. Ooh. Whiskey, hello. Thank you. Spy 520 end of year. Market makers are loading leaps here. Eh, they might be. They might be. Thank you. Thank you, Whiskey. Spy me dude oh my god how am i down 320 dollars this stream why why i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, the drunk streams are done chat the friday afternoon streams are done never doing them again nope that's it i quit i quit no more drunk streams chat Boo! <laughs> i'm just joking oh, it's frustrating though it is frustrating it's frustrating to call the move and then to take the trade and then for the move that you called to happen perfectly, literally perfectly. I, I drew the line earlier right here, like right around here somewhere. I drew my line that they were going to try to shove this to when it was trading down here. I said that I said they were going to try to shove it up here. What did they do? Shoved it right to my fucking line almost immediately. <laughs> Boy, I noticed plenty there. MM is 1385. MM, market makers want it as high as possible. They're going to try to shove this thing as hard as they can. And they're doing a pretty good job of it. Boomer spy will die. It won't correct until the funds change hands. That's very, it's a very deep message, Vega. It's very deep. Thank you. Um, uh, smoking gun. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure we get squeezed. I'm pretty sure I'm lose four hundred dollars in this trade. I'm, I'm, I feel it. At this point, we're just getting squeezed. At this point, we're just getting squeezed the rest of the day. I mean, I don't see how it doesn't just keep squeezing here. I don't see what slows this down. The market makers have control now. They've got control now. They got what they wanted. Shorts have to now cover. Shorts are panicking. I mean, I'm not panicking, but every other short is panicking, covering, getting out. I don't see how this turns back around at any point to even get me out of the trade. I really think we hold this short until close. That's my prediction. My prediction is we're in this for 30 more minutes. See how much more see how much more money we can lose. EA went from 126 to 131 in 1 minute. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Did EA get news? What is that? Is th is that a news move? There's no way that's a natural move. What the hell is that? Why would you want to do that? I don't want to do that. What do you mean? I don't want to lose money. <laughs> But I will get out of the trade where the statistical advantage tells me to. You can't develop a statistical advantage and then and then not listen to it. That's just stupid. That's just not trading. <laughs> That's just not trading at that point. Buck the system and hold over the weekend? Fuck no. Are you high? <laughs> you think I'm going to hold this short over the weekend? That's the last thing I'm going to do. <laughs> That's the last thing I'm going to do. <laughs> Why are you dotting me, Nickbot? <laughs> Still tip someone in my Jordans. Buffalo blue cheese puffs. These rock? Sounds good. Do they taste like buff like wings? Like buffalo blue cheese wings? Sounds interesting. Someone in my Jordans. Everybody's always got something to say in a losing trade. It's so funny. <laughs> Everybody's a genius when you're in a losing trade. It's so it's the funniest fucking thing on social on stock market social media. Everybody's a fucking genius when you lose a trade. If this trade would have turned and gone, I'd be a, I'd be a genius. But because it didn't, now now you're smarter than me, right? Everybody's always got something to say when somebody loses money. Slick, man. It's slick. It's a sell-off. Shit's going to slam down. I don't think so. Not this afternoon. I don't think so. Market makers are doing a very good job at what they wanted. Market makers are doing exactly what they wanted. They wanted to They wanted to crush all the puts. I mean, I've been talking about it all stream. Since, since I took this first trade, I've been talking about it. What happened? Almost exactly what I called happened. <laughs> but I still take the trades according to the system. Obviously, system did not work. And here we go. Here we go. We end up here. <laughs> we end up here. <laughs> Are we blaming Pelosi? Damn it, Pelosi. <laughs> Damn it, Pelosi. <laughs> Why I lost money today. I mean, look at this. Look at these moves. Look at the unnaturalness. Every time Spy gives you like a reversal candle, reversal candle, reversal candle, immediate, just random fucking huge bull move. A random fucking huge bull move. Look at this shit. Look at this. Huge bearish engulfing candle, immediately followed by a huge bullish engulfing candle. Like, let's, let's. Let's not let's not sit around and pretend like we don't know what the hell is going on. I've called it before the move happened. I called it, so I know what's going on. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I gotta pee. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> I'm down three hundred dollars in this trade. <laughs> uh, all I can do is laugh. All I can do is laugh, baby. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, I, I I might lose five hundred bucks in this trade. It might happen. <laughs> A wink. 
a wink that you can't blame yourself for this trade you saw a downturn took the short very smart just didn't go as planned don't look at your losing situation right now you'd be profitable in the long run no i'm yeah yes and I, that's exactly what i'm saying yes <laughs> that's exactly i mean you just repeated what i've been saying yeah this will be our largest i mean well shit this is our largest loss ever for now <laughs> it'll be content content baby largest loser ever give me the content that's what i'm here for fuck being a day trader i'm a youtuber now i shouldn't have said that it's gonna trigger somebody Oh my god, this guy, this guy only cares about the... <laughs> Everybody will have something to say about this trade, I know it. Everybody's always got something to say when you lose money. I know, I know, I get it. I get it. None of you have to show this P&L graph to, to hundreds of people. But you've all got something to say, I know. <laughs> Nobody shows their PL graph, but everybody's got something to say, don't they? Uh, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Uh, you guys can watch. Wow, we're almost down 400 in this trade. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Ow. How do I put this in a YouTube video? I've been in this trade for uh, almost 40 minutes. If I, if I do hold it till close, it'll be 42 minutes. I put all this in the trade? What the hell? <laughs> Ow. It's the most frustrating thing, but gotta respect the stop. It's my dog barking at. Somebody here? Do I need to go grab my gun real quick? Hold on. I'm gonna lose six hundred dollars and get robbed in the same day. Hold on a second. Oh. But I don't give a fuck, cause they call me irresponsible. My wife's home. No robber. No robber, just wife. My dog doesn't normally bark at my wife. I feel like she normally knows my wife's truck sound. Doesn't normally bark when she comes home. Not like that, at least. That was like a who the fuck is here bark. That's why I got up so fast. <laughs> wow. So we are losing over $600 in this trade. Don't tell me that. They're fun. $600? Oh, she heard. Oh, fuck, she heard. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me that. $600? <laughs> Trey, we don't have six hundred dollars to lose. I was lying. Oh, bro, I'm lying. Trey, it was a joke. I was joking. Chat, dude, you better fucking not chat. <laughs> oh, you know it's true love when you have your wife next to you while in a big loss and not stress out about it. Well, she well didn't, I'm pretty stressed out about she it. She didn't know, chat. <laughs> well, we're almost down seven hundred, so. <laughs> Mafia Hot sauce Oh The system got out This is the uh, market close candle We did not get out until market close We are down 663 on the day So this stream We have lost $810 Alrighty, so those are the end of the live trades. Hopefully that came across okay. I was obviously in that last trade for a long time. I tried to cut out parts, but also leave in the important and funny parts. Uh, so hopefully that came across okay. But we went into the, those last two trades, so we're wrapping up the day. We were up 180. We ended up finishing the day down 663. Spy just, I mean, as I was kind of calling it, during the video and even before I got into these trades, I was live, I was talking about how I just feel like the market makers are gonna shove this, right? When the obvious, very, very obvious move is down, they, you know, or, or in any direction, they, they sell a bunch of puts and then they crush those puts and they collect all the theta on those puts. And they certainly did that this afternoon and when you're, or Friday afternoon, I should say. And when you're making, or when you're trading, sorry, a price action strategy and you get wild price action like this, you can obviously get caught in trades like this. We've always known this was possible. I think I, like, 
sadistically joke about this in almost every trade I enter, how it could be the time it squeezes. We know it's possible. We see it in the back testing. We see big losses sporadically like this in the back testing. So we know it's possible. It's nothing to start freaking out about. I'm not going to go freak out and completely change my strategy or anything. Um, one thing I am considering, though, is potentially adding a stop loss. Uh, so so let, let's start here. First thing, over the last 30 days, the algorithm is still up $9,800. It's still great. Second thing, me losing $660, guess what? Uh, the other day ago, the algo had a $1,000 green day. We talked about this a couple days ago too, but I just stopped trading when I got up 300. The algo made over a grand that day. So it also has huge green days. And something I'm working on my own emotional control getting better at is not being afraid to keep trading when I'm up. I mean, hell, I guess that's why I, even though I was up 180, it's okay. This is a weird situation because now it's like, well, Trey, if you would have just stopped when you were up, you wouldn't have hit these. Okay, but I also wouldn't take the thousand dollar green days, right? It's it's like a, a little bit of a catch twenty two, but you are supposed to take the trades. Third thing, I am considering implementing a stop loss into shorts, even if it does make it a little bit less profitable over time. It protects you from these big cases and back testing is only part of the story right you also need to worry about what comes up in the future obviously that's what you actually have to trade and you can still obviously if you don't have a stop loss get caught in some big losers like this so uh, something i will consider moving forward implementing a stop loss just to help improve the max drawdown per single trade even if it does affect the pnl a little bit pnl is only you know half the story as well you got to worry about max drawdown you got to worry about max trade uh drawdown and stuff like that but let's go ahead and bring over the statistics obviously not not a fun day largest red day largest moving day by a long shot but if you look at the overtime once again since january that we started trading this system if you look at it over time let me actually make sure i don't think i'm just on this tag yeah let me make sure i'm just on this tag don't think that'll change a whole lot because i haven't been trading a whole lot yeah okay so over time you know we're still doing fine right we, we have been in this chop for a while it looked like since this new two minute strategy we were starting to break out of this chop unfortunately now we're just pulled back into the chop you know we're still up the strategy is still profitable the PL curve is still grinding in the right direction it's not time to panic it's not time to freak out if you have a big red day you know you don't lose your mind i talk about this you're not you're not either made or broke on one day, right? It's about what you do over time. Obviously not fun. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I don't care that it happened. I do care, uh, but it's still okay, right? It, the the, the PL chart still looks okay. Uh, click over the detail statistics, obviously. New largest loss, $635. That is a big, big loser. I uh, wonder if we can ever get a gainer up that big. Actually, in the last 30 days, at some point, this strategy did take a $700 winning trade. Uh, if I quickly show you this report, um, unless it got cut off in the last couple of days. No, it's max trade PL is $705. So it has taken a $700 winner too. So maybe one day we'll get a gainer uh, that can outshine that loser. But anyway, just overall, hopefully you guys, once again, enjoy the transparency. I took this trade on a Friday afternoon. Could have easily just not posted it. Could have easily just not included it in this graph. Pretended like everything was all sunshine and rainbows and we continue to all we ever do is make money. But that's not the point of this channel. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to lie to try to grow my followers right i'm here to teach you all the real advantages of mechanical edges of real trading and sometimes this happens we know sometimes this happens we're not going to freak out we're going to keep trading the strategy and we're going to keep plugging along hopefully you guys are excited to continue following the journey hit like if you made it this far in the video i really would appreciate it hit the red subscribe button if you're new and want to continue to follow along see if we can recover from this with that being said i'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video i will catch you all in the next one.